This video is to show you how to create a master class in the new PowerSchool Unified Classroom. So first, when you're at the dashboard, you go to Quick Links, which will take you to Learning My Classes. You will then go to New Class. Type in the name of the master class itself. So in this case, I'm going to go to World History. Next. And then you click Finish. For whatever reason, it will take you to the class pages for that master class that you created. So you go to Quick Links. Learning My Classes. And now, don't click on this, that will take you to the class pages, but click over here to Manage Class, and you're going to go to Roster. Now when you go to Roster, what we did before was Add Students, that or Add Student. That is actually not the correct way to do it, because you have multiple sections. So you actually go to Create Sections. It will take you to this screen where it basically explains what you are able to do. You click OK. And then you'll see that you have the options here. So in this case, Ben only teaches two world history classes. And you can name the section. So I will name this period two and period four. You can also add multiple sections. So if he had another section, you would just click up here and you could just rename it as well. But let me delete that so that doesn't become a problem. So then what you do is you go to Import Students. This will take you to the screen where you can search for your classes. Select only my classes, search for the keyword. I wanna be sure it is the right period because that's what I'm syncing with. Click Import. I click Continue. Uh, basically, that was asking you if you want to link it, so if somebody drops your class and switches classes, it will automatically update it. Import. You will then go back to Manage Sections, because you've already created them. So we did Period 2, and you can see it has the students linked. So you go to the next section. Repeat the process, so import students, only show my classes, world history. And then you'll notice that it still shows up the other class that you already imported, so you need to be careful and make sure that you import the correct period that you were looking for. Once again, this is just asking that it wants to be linked, so it updates if any roster changes are made. Continue import and now you have all of your sections imported and all of the students go ahead because right now it is not active so the students are not able to see it make this master class active we will do it forever and for always and now that class is active um, this also eliminates the need to go through and activate every single section for each class. So you still leave those off. So in this case, Ben already has two, one for the U.S. history and one for world history. To address some of the other questions you may have regarding the master classes in PowerSchool's Unified Classroom, basically when you toggle between your classes, so if you are in, um, I have a group, for example, of Minaret Seas, so if I'm in my second period, Minaret sees on the class pages, which if you remember is the equivalent of Schoology. When I go to add an assignment, so go to activities and assignments, you will notice that even though it says power school, or excuse me, it says Minaret sees period two up here, when I actually create the assignment, let's just call this rear test, 
You'll notice down at the bottom, it still gives me the option for create all assignments for all sections. So even if you are selected in the class pages for your period two, if you make an edit to the period two class page, that edit will then transfer to all of the other sections, um, which is helpful to know. And if you, so let's say I want to create this assignment for my Minaret C's classes, but unfortunately I have an odd period class, I would simply uncheck this box and you can see that because I named my sections the periods, I can change the due date so it is appropriate for my odd classes. And then I would click save and that would then transfer to all of my classes.